officials. AOC stands for All Out Communist. Okay? Some people like the socialists. I know they do. It's scary. It's scary. I'm America first. I'm for we the people. I wish AOC would call me inside to debate me. I would love that. But they don't, there's not a big crowd inside. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay. What do you think? Right? Yeah. Very embarrassing. I wouldn't want to debate her now. I want a big crowd on people view. You know? And they that is Tina Forte, the hopeful Republican nominee who claims to know the Bronx better than Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Her congressional battle is taking place in New York's 14th congressional district, now infamous for hosting one of the biggest congressional upsets in recent memory, and the one that launched Representative Ocasio-Cortez's career into the national stage. This also happens to be my district. In fact, Tina Forte and I grew up in the same part in the Bronx. And I cannot tell you how sick and tired I am of these brash and belligerent white women claiming to know the essence of the Bronx, to know the people of the Bronx, who claim to be an honest reflection of that community. I mean, I love the Sopranos. Love, love the Long Island medium, but come on. This is the Bronx. Tina Forte in all of her Long Island drawl is no clear representation of the Bronx that I know exists today. Just, just look at the numbers. Just look at the numbers like this data from worldpopulation.com, which recorded that the 1940s had over 98% of the population of the Bronx as white. This number has dropped dramatically. And now the borough is considered to be one of the most diverse areas in the nation. This trend continues across demographics with, quote, immigrants being a growing presence in the Bronx, now making up 37% of the total population in the city, and with approximately 59% of Bronx residents speaking languages other than English. One can't hope but to question how Forte will win over the diverse community helmed here at the Bronx. How do you plan to beat AOC? I think many people um, would like to hear what you have in mind um, because you clearly have very, very different points of view. Yes, well, I'm going to beat her. She won by grassroots and I'm going to beat her by those same grassroots because people in the district have had enough. I petitioned there twice. I've spoken to plenty of people in the district. I was born there, raised there. My family's there. I have my businesses here. I know this district. The crime is out of control. Look at our schools. Look at our streets. Look at our poverty. She does nothing but hang out with her elites, with her Marxist friends. She caters to them and she forgets about this district. Girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's this obsession with communism and drawing it out as a flaw of AOC's campaign, and by which Forte has defined her entire campaign against, is actually just grassroots organizing, social welfare initiatives, and mutual aid programs that support this community. With a successful campaign extending the federal eviction moratorium, keeping Bronx families in their homes during the COVID-19 pandemic, supporting farm worker unions local to the Bronx as they successfully petitioned for better pay and working conditions, and passing legislation that that secures over seven million dollars in community project funding for the Bronx and Queens is just to name a few of the accomplishments AOC has been able to achieve here. And what has Tina Forte done for the American people? So now we're going to the Capitol and we're going to fight the Trump. Yeah storm the capital. AOC represents her city and her district in both identity and substance, delivering policy that meaningfully addresses the needs of her constituency. On the contrary, Tina Forte is just another entitled AOC, I can't wait to f debate you. Vulgar. How do you like that mother and bombastic Republican frustrated at the immense success and popularity of AOC's campaign and opposes her in an attempt to undermine her continuing legacy. But the fact of the matter is, is that this is the Bronx. We don't take any of that BS. We don't. No cap. This is Adrian Costa with Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check back for more videos. See ya.